Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. My name is Lucas. Now everyone that I know, even like my mom or like my grandma has heard about vibe coding tools like Lovable or like Replit or Bolt New, where you can easily get an idea and with a text prompt, build out that idea. And if you've been watching my videos, you know that you can connect your app to, you know, Superbase for user authentication, you can add different APIs, you can add different types of pages inside of your app. But the one common pattern that I see people having, especially people that are not technical, is that they have certain bugs or issues inside of their project that they basically need to test out and fix before they actually you know, send this project to potential users. And that's why today I wanna to talk to you guys about TestSprite, which is an amazing AI agent that helps you test out potential issues that your project might have. As you can see here in the hero section, it, it gives you like a overview of different tests that you can conduct inside of your project, tests that involve different types of user journeys. And not only does it test out these potential flaws, but it also suggests you solutions. So it also has this MCP server that you can connect to cursor, and then you can basically use that to adjust your project based on those suggestions that TestSprite gave you. Now, once you sign in, you're going to get a dashboard looking just like this. And in terms of pricing, something to keep in mind is that you get one month for free as a free trial. So with the free plan, you get 150 credits for the month. But with the one month trial of the starter plan, you get 400 credits, which basically gives you a lot more room to kind of experiment with this tool and actually run run a bunch of tests. All right. So the project that we're going to be testing today is an e-commerce project just basically an example e-commerce project where I want to test out the UX flow of the hero section, right? For the hero section over here, you can see that we have the shop name. We have this nav bar where we have different types of functionalities. We have the, the, the actual hero section with this shop now button. And then we have like the image down here, right? And a few little like uh, testimonials or, or like little facts about this specific website. All right, now let's go back into TestSprite and let's actually start this test. So in order to start, we want to click on test locally and we're going to go ahead and click on quick install. And we have this very easy setup guide. It's a pop up where it shows us how to create an API key, what IDE we're going to be using, and it gives us an initial prompt to use in the chat inside of cursor. So let's go ahead and click on create a key. And we just have to go like this new API key. We're going to call this YouTube, click on create, and we're going to copy this key. Then we're going to go ahead and click on add to cursor, click on open cursor. And then once we're inside of cursor, it automatically opens the cursor settings for us where we have to add our API key to install this MCP server. So let's go ahead and paste our API key and click on install. And once it finishes installing, we see that it has six tools installed. We have tests, code summary, standardized PRD, front end, back end test plan, and code and execute. And going back here, let's just copy this third step. Hey, help me test this product with TestSprite. We're going to go click on copy. So now what we can start doing is we can paste in this initial prompt that TestSprite gave us in that setup process. And we can go ahead and click on submit. And once we do that, it is analyzing the whole code base of your project and going step by step and actually starting out the different tests. So the different steps here are, you know, the first thing which is doing right now, analyzing the code, then it's going to generate a front end test plan. So it's basically going to generate a plan on how it's going to test your app based on the code structure. Then it's going to bootstrap test right runner, generate and execute test right tests. And then it's going to re review the results and share the report, which you can actually find in the TestSprite website. And you can also find it here in a new markdown file that, that they're going to add to your project. And it's very easy to follow. You see step one is done and then you just scroll down. Then you're going to see step two where it's going to you know generate the, the test plan. We have this testing configuration tab that it automatically opens where we can test out the back end or the front end. We can test out the entire code base or just, you know, recent changes that you've, you've done to your code. And then at the very bottom, you want to add your product specification doc. Like it says here, basically a document that explains your desired products, features, purpose, and how it should work. And usually that's a PDF or a .md or a TXT file. So I'm just going to go ahead and drag and drop my markdown file and hit continue. And then back inside of cursor, we have this new call that our AI agent is, is doing. So let's just go ahead and click and approve this. 
Now, when I go back into Test Sprite, I can see my e-commerce project and 14 different tests that are being conducted right now. And it says zero out of 14, but it's still running. But eventually you're gonna start seeing what tests pass and what tests fail. And if we look closer into these different tests, we can see detailed product page display, add to cart and persistent cart functionality, checkout process. We even have tests for mobile device, so for responsiveness or even for marketing features. And as the test proceeds, you can see that some tests I passed, some tests I failed. Most of them I failed but I passed on two and one is still running. So if I click on one that passed, I can just click over here, verify that the homepage loads within two seconds and displays featured products, new arrivals and season, seasonal promotions correctly. So that's actually a really good you know, UX point over there. So for the tests that pass, verify that the homepage loads within two seconds and displays featured products, new arrivals and seasonal promotions correctly. So I can go ahead and press play and you can kind of see that over here. I have, I basically have a section for those specific categories. And then if we go to a test that I failed, check that the product detail page shows correct images, detail size, color fit, etc. I actually don't have a product detail page. So if you press play, you can see that the AI is trying to click on different call to actions that would eventually lead the user to that specific page. But since it doesn't happen, it gives us this, this failed response. And once the test actually finishes, you, you get this final result. So if I scroll up here, test complete, what was done, all these steps, test results summary, 14 tests executed across seven requirement categories, two tests passed, 12 tests failed. And then it shows me what's working good, what's what, what are some critical issues that they found. And then it also created a new folder over here, test by test with all of these different files. And if you click on the markdown report over here, it's a test report and you can go more into detail as to what tests it made and what are the final results, the findings. So you don't have to go into the website. You can actually do that here. So for example, product detail pages are inaccessible through multiple navigation attempts, shop buttons, product images, category buttons. This prevents testing of essential product information displays, pricing and availability. And you can ask ChatGPT, help me tell Cursor AI to build a solution for this. You can give it that you know, issue that Test Sprite gave us. So product detail pages are inaccessible. And then we can just get this prompt, right? Copy this and then go back into the cursor AI and paste this in here. So cursor is still building out different things, but let me just test a few things. So if I click on shop now, we now have this, have this all products page and I can just click on one of these. And now we have a product detail page with different sizes, different colors, exactly what Test Sprite suggested us to have. So we can go ahead and once this is done, test out everything to see if it's working. And I can go ahead and paste this prompt again, just to run a new test. Now, as you can see, we have the same description and sure product detail page renders images, description, size and color options, etc. And now we have it passed. So I can click on play and it clicks on the shop and you can click on this and then everything here, basically testing out everything. It's all there built by cursor using test sprite as kind of like our tester so yeah guys that was test sprite this is such a valuable tool uh, nowadays with all of these different ai tools where you can basically design and build all of these custom apps from all of your different ideas and it's it's just so important to have this security and 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 good ux inside of your designs and this tool basically helps you provide that and it helps you and your project go a step further when it comes to security for your users. So yeah, test it out guys. Again, it's one month free. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And the best part of all is that we've only used 10 credits of the 550 that we got. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments what you think about this tool. And um, yeah, hope to see you next time. All right, take care, goodbye.